Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reinstall Windows 11 without losing your applications or other files on your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. It's supposed to not delete your personal files. I strongly suggest you create a backup of any important files or documents before you proceed because even though it might say that it's going to save your personal files, there's no guarantees that it will. So just keep that in mind and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start by right clicking on the Windows Start menu and we're going to select the settings. You want to select the system and then on the right side scroll down until you get to recovery. Reset advanced startup previous version of Windows. Go ahead and open that up. So we're going to start by going underneath recovery options. Reset this PC. Choose to keep or remove your personal files and then reinstall Windows. Go ahead and select reset PC. Underneath choose an option. Keep my files removes apps and settings but keeps your personal files. Now like I said there's no guarantee but you still when I create a backup and but we are going to select that for today's tutorial here and it's going to ask how would you like to reinstall Windows I usually do a local reinstall so that's what I'm going to select and current settings is going to reinstall Windows from this device and then we're going to select next again this shouldn't take too long here guys and resetting will change settings back to their default keep personal files reinstall windows from this device remove all apps and programs and you can also view what apps will be removed this will take some time and your PC will restart these are the apps that will be removed so take note of that so you're definitely going to have to reinstall some stuff once it's done so it looks like I accidentally closed out of there so I'm just going to go back to exactly where we were and we're just going to go ahead and proceed with the reset here and select reset
And there you go, guys. Should be simple as that. Go ahead and reinstall any of the applications that were removed. You can see a list of them by clicking on the link that's going to be on our desktop here. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.